Optima. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Aurora Optima. So let's jump straight to the end with my thoughts on this pen. I have to start by saying this is one of the most attention grabbing pens that I have. Without a doubt, when this pen comes out, it demands people look at it. It is just so beautiful to see. And that's one of the things that made me really want it. This is a look that I could definitely have on multiple pens. I enjoy that orange look with the black and gold. Now its writing experience is everything that you would want it to be for what this pen costs as it is a pricey pen and it lives up to what I want it to be at that cost. So it's great with its smooth writing. It even makes me want to see about being able to purchase another nib, perhaps in a fine, if I could get a hold of that. I enjoy the broad, I do, but I have found that in a lot of my daily writing, I tend to enjoy some fine nibs a little bit more at times, but at the time I purchased this, I was more involved with broad nibs. Now that we know how I feel about the Aurora Optima, let's see how I got to that opinion, starting with the unboxing. The Aurora Optima comes in a box like this, which contains a box like this. At this price, I do like the box to be a bit more of a presentation of the pen. I know some people don't care about the packaging, but the truth is, it does matter. If this showed up in a simple cardboard box, it might feel a little bit let down, where when it comes with a nice box, you get the experience of it the entire time. With the pen out of the box, we need to get to the nib. And as long as it doesn't take 20 turns to uncap a pen, I'm generally okay. But how many turns does it take to uncap this pen? The Aurora Optima takes one and a quarter turns to uncap. It uncaps fast enough that you don't even realize, you know, much of it. It's very nice and not a problem. It doesn't make any kind of noises while you're capping or uncapping. So being in a meeting where maybe you do need to uncap a few different times, it doesn't make any noises that could be a detriment to you. Not any problems at all. This gets us to the nib. This pen has a gold broad nib on it. I like nice scroll work on a nib. I think it gives something very neat to look at. I also think in this particular case, if it had a very plain nib, that wouldn't have drawn anything away from this pen. It just winds up being an added very nice detail. Now, let's ink this pen up. The Aurora Optima is a piston filler that holds approximately 1.5 milliliters of ink. The ink for today is Dr. P.H. Martin's Ocean Blue. The piston operates incredibly smoothly, almost on par, almost as good as a Pelican piston. And I have to say almost only because the Pelican pistons are we can call them legendary in their performance. This one is just as good and it makes it easy to clean when the piston is especially smooth. As a habit, I don't normally post my pens, but some people prefer to post their pens and some pens need to be posted in order to be used comfortably. This is a small pen without its post. It's large enough to use. 
but it does show that it is a little bit smaller. You can post it if you wanted to. It posts plenty deep enough. It's secure enough to not be any kind of a problem. I've not written with it posted. I, again, I don't really use my pens very often posted, but you can with this, and it looks nice when it is posted. If you enjoy videos like this, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, the important part, the writing sample. Writing with this pen, it is bordering towards where I would want to post it, just in that it's a little bit shorter than I would prefer. I kind of wish it was just a little bit, like a quarter inch longer, and it would be a little bit better in that case. Now, its girth in the middle towards where it gets held makes it incredibly comfortable and causes no kind of hand fatigue. It gives a very smooth writing experience, but not so smooth that you have to worry about it having baby's bottom. This pen's not had any problems, and I don't know that I've ever heard of problems with Aurora's nibs. Very smooth, really does help bring out those features of the ink. It doesn't have any kind of feedback, but I wouldn't call it the smoothest of pens that I've used, although, Again, while I said it doesn't have any feedback, it's not, I don't know, uh, out of the box, medium Pelican. I, there's gonna be some comparison to Pelican here because both are truly outstanding brands. Now for something a bit more standard in comparing writing size. I use Namiki Blue to do this. And here's how it compares to a Yovo Extra Fine on the left, a medium in the middle, and a 1.1 stub on the right. In terms of how wide the writing is, it's exactly what you should expect a broad nib to be able to be. Not any broader, not any more narrow. It really does answer to your expectation without any kind of caveat like it's a bit more broad or a bit more narrow than would be expected. But how does this one compare to other nibs I've used? Looking at the writing of an Aurora Optima with a broad nib, here it is next to a Levenger True Writer with a broad nib. A Retro 51 Tornado with a broad nib. A Twisby Eco with a broad nib. A Pilot Custom 823 with a broad nib. A Franklin Christoph Model 66 with a broad SIG nib. And a Visconti Medici Oversize with a broad nib. I mentioned before that 
when it comes to the size, this pen is just a little bit shorter than I would prefer. It's not that it's any kind of a problem and it doesn't stop me from using this pen. It's incredibly usable in its size. So there's no issue there. It's just a preference looking at it that a little bit longer would have been nice. So it isn't a review without some size comparison. Here it is capped, here it is uncapped, and here it is posted. At this point, the pen is dirty. Let's make it clean. Be sure to check out the next pen review when we take a look at the Twisby Mini. If you want to be able to support not just my channel, but any reviewer, then when you make a purchase, be sure to tell that retailer where you heard about it. Thanks for watching.